Hello farmers. Between concrete pond and earthen pond, which one is more better? You know, in all of my videos, when I bring two things together like this, I don't condemn one for the other, but I will tell you the one that is better. For instance, what is working for me might not be working for you, and what is working for you might not be working for me. That is what I want you to know first before we go into today's video. So, really, I will tell you what concrete pond is, and I will tell you what earthen pond is. Concrete pond are built with cement blocks and other aggregate. That is what we call concrete pond. Some people call it concrete tank and some call it concrete pond. Whatever you call it is still the same. So that is what concrete pond are. Earthen pond are dug into the soil. They are dug into the soil without molding, no, no, nothing like cement, nothing like blocks, nothing like uh, a sound that they will use to build it they just dig it into the soil so that is the first thing i want you to know about the before we fully go into today's topic kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the notification bell to get notified when next to drop a new video like this for you i bet it's by the time you listen to this video you are going to get something out of it you know in other farm what we do is to make reviews on agriculture tell you the opportunities that are in agriculture and uh also teach you what to do on your farmland so the number one thing you need to know about concrete pond is concrete pond are not conducive like that of earthen pond so earthen pond is conducive more than that of concrete pond why do i say this because concrete pond are made up of blocks so it just look as if it is a stone so whenever time sunshine the body of the concrete tank we emit it and transfer the heat from the body from the, uh, from the blocks or the cement so just from the body of the concrete and it will not transfer heat from that place to the water that is inside the, the water will not emit it once the water receives the same heat for those who study science and all this uh, temperature of a thing you you will understand what i'm saying so the water will now be affecting the heat will now be affecting the fish a little bit but for that of earthen pond you may be saying does it not receive it too it does but on top of the water will be a little bit heat down the water will be cool very very cool and sometimes the grasses that are at the side of the that is why you have to leave some grasses at the side of your pond so the grasses that are at the side of your pond will make a shade on the water in that place your fish will be hiding so that is what that is the first thing I want you to know about the two. So the number two thing is concrete pond depends on borehole. So if you do concrete tank, you have to dig borehole before you could use water. But the one of earthen pond doesn't need that stress. So once you dig your pond, the water will be gushing out from the soil, from under the ground. It will be coming out under the ground. That is another thing you should know about the two. Number three part of it is if you want to refresh their water, it is easy to refresh the one of earthen pond than that of concrete tank. Why do I say this? Concrete tank, if you have water in it, for those who are using it, you know how many times you flush the dirty water out in a week maybe twice in a week or once in a week you know how you do it you will have to pump it to half or finish everything and pump newly one into it if you have a bigger hose you will pump everything out and refresh it immediately but if you have a smaller hose inlet so you will pump half of the water away then you will pump new one inside to refresh it but that of earthen pond doesn't have this stress what you have to do is to look at the water that is passing through the side of your pond link your inlet into it block the water and from that place the water will pass through the hose into your pond you will still have outlets so the, the water will be going out so there is no need to pump half of the water away or to do any other thing that will stress you if you see people pumping water out of the pond before they pump another one that means they don't have a good water source maybe they don't have a gutter or any stream or a little river that is taking water that they will take water from it into their own pond that is why they have to have it and pump water from another pond into their pond so but if for those who have river what they do is they run inlets and outlets from that place they will have overflow water Another thing you have to know about them is concrete 
pond doesn't have living organism whenever time you stock your fish inside but that of earthen pond have living organism so you will get something like earthworms you will get some i don't know what they call it but it's a little bit small small like this they're like maggot so why do i say this sometimes your fish might be starved when you are not around or if you probably haven't reached your farm so your catfish will have the chances to eat some of the earthworms that are inside the pond or some of the living organisms that are inside the pond. Sometimes we might have something like tadpole inside the pond so your fish will be able to feed on them but that of concrete doesn't have this opportunity. So if your fish are starved, they will be starved till you come and feed, feed them. So that is another point that make this of earthen pond unique than that of a concrete tank so like i said i'm not condemning anyone because some people doesn't have opportunity to dig earthen pond that is why they are using concrete pond because they have to they have interest in fish farm another thing is the maintainers of concrete tank is higher than that of earthen pond so whenever time your pond is steering what you do is to rebag so you do sandbag like you can see in the video you do sandbag and that is all so the cost of this is less but that of concrete tank you have to go and buy cement again so you try to amend it so sometimes you might amend it and the pond will still be leaking because it is built so for that of earthen pond doesn't have this problem so whenever time it's tearing what you do is just to bag it once you bag it that is all Another one is it is easy to prepare the one of earthen pond than that of concrete tank. How do we prepare it? For instance, if you want to prepare the one of concrete tank, you will have to wash all the body, wash all the agate and all the dirty that are on the wall of that thing. So you have to wash everything with brush. You clean it and you flush it away. But the one of earthen pond, what you do is just to handle it to people and they will come, they will demod it. They will pack all the mud that are inside and throw it out. That is all it is easy to prepare the one of earthen pond to that of concrete tank. another thing you should know about these two pond is earthen pond are always fertile why the one of concrete are not if your earthen pond is not fertile that means it you have been using it for a very long time and what you have to do is to refertilize it how do you refertilize it after you do the modding you prepare the pond you pack all the mud out you buy lime you put it inside and leave it for seven days it will refertilize or you use the pond for some times and you drop it for something like uh, five months three months two months probably so the pond will refertilize so if, if you give the pond chances to rest it will refertilize and if you use other means it will refertilize but out of concrete you know there is nothing to refertilize it and you can put all this artificial powder inside so you will be risking the life of your fish whenever time you stock them because not all this thing even if if even if it dry off the chemicals won't penetrate out of that place so it won't be able to pass to any place it will still be inside the concrete pond another thing you have to know about this is earthen pond have enough water more than that of concrete pond why because it is dug into the soil though if you make your concrete pond high and deep it is good but at least like in, like i said in one of my video the pond that you are going to stock your fish shouldn't be less than three feet some people even dig theirs they will have something like four feet you know level of water so before they could stop stock their own fish so you should have if you, you should have that level before you stock your own fish as well that is why i said one of earthen pond have water more than that of concrete pond another thing you need to know about this two pond is earthen pond lasts longer than that of concrete pond like i said concrete pond are built so that there is durability for concrete pond so it might not last it will not even last longer than that of earthen pond if earthen pond is tearing and you are maintaining it it will last longer than that of concrete pond so you should take note of that another thing you, st you still need to know about this two pond is the maintenance of concrete pond is higher than the maintenance of earthen pond. You know, when your concrete pond is having problem, what you have to do is to buy cement, buy other things like that that you use to build it. But if your uh, earthen pond is having problem, what you have to do is to find people that will just repair it. You know, it is not something you build, it is something you dig. So it is easy to maintain. So the maintenance is very, very low. Concrete ponds water 
always affect fish texture, their skin. Though I know this doesn't matter, but sometimes it does matter. But the one of eating pond doesn't. It improve their skin texture. So they, they will be good. They will be good to see. If you see them, they will be very very good. They will look very nice. But the one of concrete doesn't look as much as that of eating pond. So to finalize this, catfish grow faster, better in eating pond than that of concrete pond. I don't, there is nothing to argue about. They buy fish of the same size at the same time, stock them, divide them into two, stock them in concrete and stock the other one in eating and rear them for some certain point, maybe to three months or to four, or four months before you crop them and see the difference between the two. So fish grow faster in eating pond like uh, more than that of concrete pond. I'm not saying concrete pond is not good, it is good, but I'm just telling you that eating pond is better. Though the possibility of your fish to be affected with diseases is higher in eating pond than that of concrete pond. You know concrete, they are outside and the water you are running is from the borehole, but that of eating pond, the water is coming down from the ground and from the river. So from the river, there might be some diseases inside the river and you, if you mistakenly run the water into your pond, so your pond will likely have infection. But that is just the only thing that I can say it is very bad in eating pond. So the possibility of taking diseases into your water is higher in eating pond than that of a concrete pond. So this is what I want you to know. So from uh, all this point, you can now say that eating pond is better than that of concrete pond. I'm not saying this to discourage you. If you are rearing fish in concrete tank, you are going to make money. And if you are rearing fish in eating pond, you are going to make more money. So don't forget, turn on the notification if you are new here and hit the subscribe button. So we'll appreciate that. Let's learn together. Let's grow together. Thank you for watching all our videos.